And new at 6, the crisis in Haiti is making it difficult for South Florida-based Food for the Poor and other aid organizations to get food to Haiti's hungry. CBS 4's Ted Scouten joins us live from their Coconut Creek headquarters with more. And Ted, specifically fuel is a major problem right now, right? Yeah, Elliot, what's happening is the gangs are cutting off access to fuel. That's causing lots of problems. For example, that means when the supplies from the warehouse here in Coconut Creek make it to Port-au-Prince, it's been very difficult to get it distributed to all those folks who need it. Life-saving food is loaded up and ready to be shipped out to people in Haiti's earthquake zone. Getting food to them has been very difficult because of a fuel shortage and gang violence. Last week, we were unable to get anything out. Mario Nicolo is with Coconut Creek-based Food for the Poor in Haiti. He explains gangs cut off access to fuel, which halted nearly everything in the country. But late Friday, the gangs agreed to a truce until the 18th. We were able to receive a, a good uh, refueling, about uh, 7,000 gallons of fuel that we would needed. Otherwise, we would be shut down by Wednesday. Now trucks are being loaded quickly to get them out and on the road. Food for the Poor expects they have enough gas to last a month. We fueled up some trucks. We've got out about nine container trucks to the north for needed distribution. We're working on hopefully being able to, to deliver to the southern peninsula. When that food doesn't get out, the consequences are devastating. Is it a matter of something as simple as if you don't get those shipments out, people don't eat? For us, yes. That's exactly what it is. I expect that after the 18th, the gang members will, you know, continue to do their activities of, you know, shooting, kidnapping, and, you know, and um, preventing people from getting access to fuel. Mark Corey is the chief operating officer of Food for the Poor. The group is the largest of its kind in Haiti. He tells us the food and development programs they provide are critical for survival. There's 4.3 million people that are food insecure, but of that, there's 1.3 million people that are at a point of, uh, you know, famine or death. I mean, to the point where, you know, they can't, they won't be able to survive. So you can see what a dire situation it is. If you'd like to find out how you can help out, go to our website, cbsmiami.com. We will link you to CBS 4's Neighbors for Neighbors, as well as Food for the Poor. Live in Coconut Creek, Ted Skelton, CBS 4 News.